China has just captured rare images of 3 i Atlas, and it changes everything we thought we knew about interstellar objects. The photos, taken by the Tianwen-1 Mars orbiter on October 3, 2025, reveal a faint, irregular body with a compact core and no visible cometary tail. Instead of the diffuse glow typical of ice and dust, the object reflects light in sharp, uneven flashes, more like metal than rock. From nearly 29 million kilometers away, China's camera recorded what appears to be a structured, stable form drifting through space. Meet 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object ever spotted by human beings through the Atlas program. This ancient wanderer, billions of years old, passed the closest to Mars on October the 3rd, and Chinese scientists captured several incredible snapshots. Before the official imaging, the ground team carried out a series of rehearsals. Two days in advance, we conducted trial shots of 3i Atlas to both check its orbit and fine-tune TMU-1's high-resolution camera. After the test runs on October the 1st and 2nd, the orbiter captured the official images on October the 3rd, when 3i Atlas reached its closest point to Mars. Using data from the earlier tests, we perfectly optimized the camera to achieve the final stunning shots. Yeah. An image that has left scientists questioning whether this so-called visitor is truly natural at all. For months, neither NASA nor China released any new information about the interstellar object 3i Atlas, despite ongoing tracking and rising interest from the scientific community. Then, without prior indication, NASA announced on November 6 that its instruments had detected an anomaly in the object's tail, noting patterns of motion and brightness that did not match known comet behavior. The next day, China released the first publicly available images of 3i Atlas from its high-resolution imaging camera near Mars, describing the object not as a comet but as a visitor. The abrupt end to the silence, the close timing of the announcements, and the terminology used have raised questions about whether this is merely scientific competition or a response to new information that prompted both nations to speak now. The comet-like visitor barely shines. At magnitude 6.7, it's dimmer than what most human beings can see with the naked eye, which tops out around magnitude 6. Fast and faint, that's a tricky combination. NASA's November report was brief but carried major implications. According to the statement, long-range spectrographic and photometric data showed irregularities in the tail of 3i Atlas. Normally, the tail of a comet forms when solar radiation heats frozen gases, producing outgassing jets that push dust away from the nucleus. These jets create predictable variations in brightness and shape. In the case of 3i Atlas, however, the tail appeared to fluctuate in intensity without corresponding changes in solar proximity or rotational phase. The data suggested a form of movement that could not be fully explained by sublimation. Researchers inside and outside NASA noted that these findings lent some credibility to early predictions by astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who had argued that 3i Atlas, like the earlier interstellar object Oumuamua, might be exhibiting non-gravitational acceleration. Loeb had pointed out that small but measurable deviations in trajectory could indicate solar radiation pressure acting on an object with a high surface area to mass ratio, essentially a very thin structure such as a sail or panel rather than a solid chunk of rock or ice. NASA's acknowledgement of the anomaly stopped short of endorsing that view, but by confirming the data, it effectively reopened the discussion. The agency's tone was unusually cautious. The report did not include imagery or spectrographic plots, only a summary of instrument readings. It emphasized that the data required further analysis before any firm conclusions could be drawn. Nevertheless, the statement's publication represented a clear shift. For nearly half a year, NASA's communications on 3i Atlas had been limited to routine positional updates. Suddenly, the object was back in the headlines, not because of its trajectory, but because of its unexplained behavior.
Less than a day later, the Chinese National Space Administration followed with its own announcement, accompanied by three images of 3i Atlas taken by the high-resolution imaging camera aboard its Mars orbiter. Although the images were faint and low contrast, they immediately drew scrutiny from astronomers worldwide. The object appeared irregular in shape, with asymmetric reflectivity and an absence of the diffuse halo expected around a comet's nucleus. Some analysts describe the reflections as specular, meaning mirror-like, rather than the scattered glint typical of dusty ice. The accompanying statement was as interesting as the images themselves. It described the object as a visitor from interstellar space, avoiding the usual classification terms such as comet or asteroid. Chinese scientists noted that preliminary analysis of light curves indicated an uneven surface and possibly variable orientation, but they declined to speculate further. Still, the choice of the word visitor was deliberate enough to draw attention from linguists and journalists alike. Comparing the two disclosures reveals both overlap and divergence. NASA's report emphasized physical dynamics tail composition, radiation pressure, and energy distribution, while China's focused on imagery and optical properties. Taken together, they formed a picture of an object that does not fit neatly into known categories. NASA's tail anomaly implies that 3i Atlas is moving in ways unrelated to simple gravitational and thermal forces. China's imaging shows a structure whose light reflections suggest artificial smoothness or metallic composition. Neither dataset alone proves anything extraordinary, but their convergence on unusual behavior has intensified interest across the global research community. To understand the significance, it helps to recall what 3i Atlas is, or rather what little is known about it. Detected in early 2024, it became only the third confirmed interstellar object observed passing through our solar system, following 1i Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2019. Like its predecessors, 3i Atlas entered the solar system on a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it is not gravitationally bound to the Sun and will eventually leave. Early models suggested a highly elongated orbit, cutting inward from the direction of the constellation Cygnus before bending around Mars's orbital path and heading back into deep space. Initial observations classified it as a comet based on a faint tail and spectral hints of volatiles, but later data complicated that view. The rate of brightness change did not correspond to expected outgassing, and its velocity profile contained small but persistent deviations from gravitational predictions. By mid-2024, most observatories had logged enough data to confirm these irregularities. Yet, despite the scientific curiosity, both NASA and China withheld imagery for months, citing the need for calibration and verification. The sudden double release in November therefore felt coordinated, or at least reactive. One interpretation is that NASA's confirmation of the anomaly forced China to publish its own findings, to avoid being perceived as secretive. Another is that both agencies reached similar conclusions independently, and chose to go public at the same time. A third, more speculative theory, suggests that both may have detected new information, perhaps from radar echoes or spectroscopic measurements, that demanded public acknowledgement. Whatever the reason, the synchronization was striking. What makes 3i Atlas particularly intriguing are its physical anomalies. Observations indicate that its tail does not consistently align with the sun's direction, a feature never seen in ordinary comets. Instead, it appears to shift orientation periodically, as if responding to internal mechanisms or variable reflective surfaces. The brightness of the nucleus also fluctuates with a periodicity inconsistent with rotation alone. Moreover, compositional data from several observatories show a spectral slope suggestive of metal-rich material, lacking the organic signatures typically found in icy bodies. These irregularities echo the debates surrounding Oumuamua seven years earlier. That object, too, showed non-gravitational acceleration without any visible signs of outgassing. Its shape, elongated and possibly flat, made it behave like a light sail pushed gently by sunlight. At the time, most astronomers favored natural explanations, such as a fragment of nitrogen ice or a hydrogen iceberg. Yet none of those models fit all the data perfectly. Avi Loeb argued that the simplest explanation, a thin, reflective structure of artificial origin, should not be dismissed merely because it challenged expectations.
3i Atlas seems to be following the same pattern, but with better instrumentation and more direct observation. Unlike Oumuamua, which was already receding by the time telescopes turned toward it, 3i Atlas passed close enough to Mars for direct imaging. The combination of NASA's anomaly data and China's optical imaging gives scientists a clearer, though still incomplete, picture. If the object's reflective properties are indeed metallic, and its acceleration is independent of mass loss, it might represent an entirely new category of interstellar phenomena, or an artifact. That possibility is what fuels both public fascination and institutional caution. The idea that 3i Atlas could be artificial is extraordinary, but it arises naturally from the evidence. A thin, non-outgassing, light-reflective object, accelerating slightly under sunlight, is exactly what a solar sail, an established concept in human engineering, would do. If another civilization had developed such technology millions of years ago, fragments or probes could drift through interstellar space much as debris from our own missions will one day do. Loeb's theoretical framework treats such artifacts as technological relics, not active spacecraft but remnants of past exploration. Still, skepticism remains strong. Many astronomers emphasize the limits of current data. The irregular brightness could stem from surface texture or rotational wobble. The tail anomaly might result from micro-impacts or magnetic interactions not yet modeled. Without high-resolution spectroscopy or close-range imagery, definitive conclusions are impossible. Both NASA and China have acknowledged these uncertainties, noting that 3i Atlas is now moving beyond optimal observation range as it heads back toward interstellar space. The international response to these developments has been mixed. Some scientists call for open data sharing between agencies to combine optical and spectrographic datasets. Others urge caution, warning that premature speculation could undermine credibility. Nonetheless, public interest has surged. The term visitor used in China's release has become a focal point for discussion, interpreted by some as a cultural expression of curiosity and by others as an intentional signal that Chinese researchers see 3i Atlas as something distinct from natural celestial bodies. Pressure on NASA has also increased. Reports from science outlets and major media have noted growing demands for the agency to release all imaging data related to 3i Atlas, including possible captures from the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA has stated that image processing and validation are ongoing, but critics argue that withholding the data only fuels speculation. In response, several independent observatories have begun publishing their own light curve analyses, most confirming that the object's behavior remains unusual. As the object recedes from the inner solar system, opportunities for further observation diminish rapidly. Astronomers estimate that by early 2026, it will be too distant for meaningful optical study. That has lent urgency to every new data release, and it may explain the sudden timing of the announcements. Both NASA and China understand that whatever 3i Atlas is, the chance to study it directly is fleeting. Once it leaves the solar system, humanity may not see another interstellar object of this type for decades. The debate now centers on interpretation. If 3i Atlas is natural, it still represents a category of interstellar debris unlike anything previously recorded. Perhaps a fragment from a collision in another planetary system, or the remnant of a body shaped by extreme forces near a dying star. If it is artificial, it would mark the first tangible evidence of extraterrestrial technology, even if only as a derelict relic. Between those extremes lies a range of intermediate possibilities, a naturally thin body shaped by unknown physical processes, a combination of dust and magnetic fields forming a semi-rigid structure, or a cometary fragment whose outgassing behaves differently under interstellar composition. What remains clear is that 3i Atlas has challenged our models of how interstellar material behaves when passing through the solar system. Both NASA's anomaly data and China's imagery suggest that our current understanding of cometary physics may be incomplete. Whether that gap points to new natural phenomena or to evidence of engineering is the question scientists will debate for years. The larger story may not be about competition but about convergence.
For the first time, multiple major space agencies have publicly acknowledged data that they cannot easily explain, using language that invites rather than deflects inquiry. In the past, such anomalies might have been quietly archived. Today, in an era of global communication and public engagement, silence is no longer an option. The world expects transparency, and both NASA and China appear willing to provide at least partial disclosure, even as they hedge their conclusions. As 3i Atlas fades into the darkness beyond Mars, it leaves behind more questions than answers. Why did both agencies decide to release information within a day of each other after months of silence? What, if anything, prompted that change? And what does China's choice of the word visitor reveal about how its scientists interpret the object's nature? These questions will continue to drive discussion long after the object itself disappears from our telescopes. If history is any guide, definitive answers may come only from the next interstellar object that enters our system. When it does, humanity will be better prepared, with improved instruments, international coordination, and perhaps a greater willingness to confront possibilities that once seemed speculative. Whether 3i Atlas turns out to be a fragment of ancient debris or a relic of intelligent design, its brief passage has already expanded the boundaries of what scientists are willing to consider. For now, all that is certain is that an object from another star crossed our path, behaved in ways we do not fully understand, and prompted the world's leading space agencies to break their silence in unison. The mystery of 3i Atlas endures, carried outward into the void it came from, a reminder that even in an age of precise instruments and constant surveillance, the universe can still surprise us.